Hi guys, um, another interesting little find today. Well, not today, it was last week or the week before. I know I've had it a long time anyway, I think I was going on about it in the last uh, session. Um, I actually thought this was a 148. I found a 148 though. It's a Superstar 360, which is basically a 148. You know, whether it be, in fact, I think all 360s were Mark IIs anyway, weren't they? Basically, Mark II 148. Um, anyway, I found this, and this is probably the worst radio I've ever seen in my life. And I bought this off a guy, oh god, with some other junk, I mean, a long time ago. Maybe he's, let me think, probably around, maybe the millennium, maybe he's a bit earlier, yeah, thereabouts. But anyway, it's a Superstar 360. As you can see, this thing has been to hell and back. You know, like, I'm actually got that in the frame there and it probably doesn't look too bad you know to be fair it's exactly how i got it the only thing i've done right for this uh, demonstration purpose is to snip both the uh, speaker cables uh wires off um internally so i because the lids obviously they've it had no screws in it when i got it to be honest it's exactly how i got it and i've just done that so i can look the lids off and show you guys straight away inside of it um I did try this, you know, a number of years back, and I'm sure it worked, but we'll give it another go over the coming weeks. But anyway, that's the front of it. it there's the top of it. it. The front is probably the best part of it. I mean, I'll show you the rear here, and watch this here. What has gone on there, I have no idea. You know, this looks like it's been in war. I mean, literally, war. I mean, this hole here, look, I can get my finger through there, look. I mean, what the hell has been in there? Heavy duty coax or something. I, anyway, that's it. I mean, this is all shot around there. It wants a new uh, socket. I'll have some kicking about like. Um, but I thought I'd just show you this. The amount of holes that I drilled in it. Um, yeah, like I say, this is the one I thought was the one far right. The shabby uh, heap of shit. You know what I mean? But it's, obviously it's Superstar. Same radio. And there's the, the top. It's been sanded and painted some type of time of, uh, in its life. And there's the bottom of it. Look at the state of it there. The side of it. Yeah, and there, so there you go. That's, just, that's, that's, that's about it really. So what I want to do here, I'll put the lids off. I'll put them both off, just save me messing about. But this had no screws in it when I got it, by the way, so don't blame me for that. I don't bother to man anyway. <laughs> anyway, let's just flip this over. I, I could swear this, like I say, the only thing I've done here is just snip them off literally five minutes ago just to just to demonstrate. And what I'm gonna do with this over the coming months, I'm gonna attempt to align it and tidy it up a lot a lot anyway. It's gonna be tied up quite a lot. I mean in turn it doesn't look too bad. I mean there's a lot of loose cables all over there. And wires and bits and bobs, but it's, uh, it's been a problems. It's probably like six banks of the usual with a 40 readout, and it was done. Uh, 4th of the 7th, 1990. Uh, okay, I'll show you a quick. Uh, I don't know if you recognize that. Uh, where have we done this like? But you can. Anyway, let's just give you a little. Browse around it, let's see. I've got this light on a bit cold at the day, I noticed my face was a bit... Oh, well, I said, your face looks a bit orange on there, Neil, you know. So, oh, yeah, thanks for that, you know. I'm trying my best, you know what I mean? Of what I've got. Saying that, what I've got, I've spent a bloody enough on this camera gear. But you get the idea anyway, don't you? Like I say, there's... Let's have a look here. Like I say, there's bits and bobs all over. Uh, like I said, I've never touched it before. It's just one of them things. But I want to go around this like a fine tooth comb. I wasn't going to bother, but um, I'm slowly getting back into the old engineering side again, which I've had a good, a long time off, as probably most know. Um, I'm not a rig doctor, obviously. Far from it. I just like to mess about with electrics, electronics, which could be anything from a, a radio, CB, Hi-fi, you know, that type of thing, you know. But, uh, yeah, it's had a lot of... <laughs> it's had a lot of bodging work done in here. Uh, I think someone's blew this by the looks of it as well, because look, the... The died on the back's been snipped. 
it shouldn't even be there to be fair it should be on the board but anyway that's the way it is I mean to be fair it, apart from the shabbiness inside where someone's been at it with a hacksaw and loose cables all here and there the signal meters for us all that time I was just whipping it there I knew it would be like they always do don't they and they've been sat for years um, like I say there's cables I see standing about doing nothing other than that, you know, it probably wouldn't take more than a couple of hours to get this somewhere now, you're right. Might be worth recapping it, you know, for the time it took. I know these days it seems to be trendy, isn't it, to recap everything that's over like 20, 30 year old. Uh, oh, I'm going to make what we've got on the side of here, let's have a look. There we go, this is probably the ladder we've got, of course it's got a thing on the side of it here, 8 to the 12th, 99. That'd be around about the that's about the time I got it. Looks like it's been scribbled on. But yeah, it's uh you know there's a bit left of the serial, but obviously it's been these serial numbers on these are just like stickers weren't on a, a 360. They weren't like the cobrits with the um serial number the aluminium panel on the back. But yeah, I mean the back of that is a disgrace. But anyway, guys, that's that's about just another brief one, you know, just to give you an idea of what's going on with this. Um, I'm gonna rebuild it. Maybe put a new inlay on it and do something with the front panel. I mean, to be honest, that's a worry, isn't it? I mean, the, the actual front panel is solid. Is it? Yeah, it is. And only go down and it's this crack all over here and just like fall loose. Yeah, it's it's an absolute pig. It's the worst thing I've ever seen, you know. I, I forgot all about the it until the, a week or so ago when I was mooching about. Um, but these were a great rig. This basically is a Cobra 148 GTL DX. Every bit as good as it. In fact, it's the same radio. It's just got a different fascia, you know. And um, and there's no reason why this can't be brought back to life. Like I say, someone's had a bit of play in there. You see. Probably had new outputs. Well, they don't want it. They all did, didn't they? Yeah, it's even had a new audio as well. Look. Um, yeah, it's had, it's had outputs, audio, um, regulator. Obviously, it's been. Um, yeah, it's had a bit of work done, but I, you know, I, I actually, I, I was because I was seen on the outside of it, and I seen the rear of it, and I thought, Christ, this must be an absolute piece of shit. Inside is relatively good. It's just had bits done here and there. It's just like. Bleep snipped and bits and bobs done this just wants a bit of a tidy up, you know, maybe a couple of hours on this, it probably won't be so bad. And a quick alignment, you know. But yeah, anyway. I'll pop back in there maybe a you know, a couple of weeks, month or so, and I'll try and do something with it. We'll give it a go and see how it sounds. Uh, in fact I might even fight I might even fight it up before to see if it actually works before I do any work, you know, just to see. Out of interest. Um in a long time, mm -hmm. but yeah. But I did find a nice 148, mind you, which I was I forgot all about. I had um, it's a nice tidy thing to be fair, so I want to bring that down and do a quick demo with that. And all over the next coming, coming weeks, um, antenna's going up shortly as well, so I can see what's going on on there, or at least test some of these out a bit better, you know. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll get back with this over the coming weeks, and I'll try and do something with it. I mean, the, the front panels are alright, really. It's just if I could get it to maybe re chromed or whatever, to be fair. I mean, you can buy them, but I, I like to try and keep things as original as possible, mate. Um, and I always think originality always counts. I know I'll have a couple of them somewhere, probably got, got some bit of uh, knobs anyway for this somewhere lying around. Mm, as you gather things up over the years. But yeah, anyway, that's the. Subsar 360, um, great little radio. Like I say, this is a being well neglected. I have no idea what. I mean, if you you take a guess what's being in the back of there, because I am got a clue. I, I have no idea why anyone would do that to a radio. You know, you'd almost get a rat through there, wouldn't you? Look at it. It's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, on that note, guys, we'll uh, we'll catch you later. And um, a thumbs up, we much appreciate it. And so would a subscribe. And a thumbs down, right? A thumbs down. 
a thumbs down if you'd like to use this radio if you'd like to have a radio and only use the rear of it and the rear of it look like that so if you put a thumbs down the rest of your radio days will be transmitting from a radio that looks like that in front of you day and night can you imagine that eh? <laughs> anyway guys thanks for watching bye